Hello, I'm Romedius, uh, Confucius, and uh, I'm part of the Hebocon uh, Shitty Robots team. And I'm experiencing some problems, uh, as you can see. Uh, the Hebocon Shitty Robots team, uh, there's also Lucus Ductus, Alex, and Neo. And uh, today we had a nice battle with eight participants. And I want to show you, uh, I will show you, uh, first I will give, uh, give a small talk about the um, battle itself. And afterwards we will have a live battle with eight robots and hopefully most of them will work. Okay. <laughs> Everything is better than my laptop, I swear. Um, this is not Hebocon. Uh, this, these are mostly creepy and uh, dangerous robots and quite expensive ones. Then uh, there are other fights, uh, mostly th this is uh, from a league in Japan. These are quite fast, highly uh, technological, but still not uh, su suitable for everybody because you need uh, to invest a lot of time and money uh, till you get in one of the these leagues and it's nothing for beginners. So, Daisu Hisakawa uh, invented Hebocon. It's the, how he tells, uh, it's the robot battle for a technically ungifted. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully he watches live stream uh, with my crappy laptop. Uh, and of course, um, this battle is here to um, give all, all the people a, a chance to participate. So, I only can see half the writing, but I know what's written. So usually the, uh, the robots are simple. Uh, you reuse spare parts, old kids' toys, uh, toothbrushes whatsoever. It's mostly low tech, so uh, no Arduino is involved. You get a penalty if you uh, want to participate with some professional parts. And uh, the battle itself must be uh, non lethal. So, no flamethrowers, no blades, not, no whatsoever. <laughs> Kid safe. Flamethrowers and kids don't mix. <laughs> Here you can see half of the rules. So uh, <laughs> uh, the board, uh, the robots are, uh, should be uh, lighter than one kilogram, smaller than 50 by 50 centimeters. The board should be sm uh, smaller than 50 centimeters by one meter, and that's your battleground. The match starts as soon as the robots make contact. <laughs> Bless. Uh, <laughs> um, it's okay to uh, lose non-vital parts, but if you tip over or you uh, leave the table, you lost. It's a sumo style fight. Uh, we build different robots. So um, we have a, a bit of a different audience. And we, uh, so I, uh, other people uh, invented the shitty robots contest uh, with uh, different limitations. So we decided we will accept all the robots uh, no matter by the size and the weight, so everybody can participate. All robots are beautiful. Rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And today we had a nice fight. We had eight participants. And uh, the nice thing was that the, actually the lightest and smallest robot won, uh, won uh, by points. Uh, you see the tiny robots in the back, uh, the tiny robot in, uh, on the back side? Uh, that one uh, actually won by points. It just barely passed the big one, uh, who would have just swept it off if it would have been a little bit larger. And the crowd went totally bananas when it won. <laughs> great, great. It was a, a really cool ninja move, just go away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Evade and stay on the table. Uh, this, okay, we can, here we can see most of the robots from the fight. Again, because of my crappy, lap, crappy laptop. Um, uh, we had, uh, had uh, eight participating robots between 125 grams and a kilo and a little bit. Uh, and 
for me personally, it's really nice to organize uh, these events because you can have uh, you, you can bring people that uh, usually are not that much into DIY or electronics or whatsoever uh, to build robots. Uh, it's really nice when you uh, meet artists that tell you, "Yesterday, I wouldn't have imagined that I ever would participate in one uh, in such uh, an event, robot fight. That's crazy." And I'm just drawing things. And uh, everybody can participate as soon as, this mo it, uh, as it moves. You just need a potato with wheels, basically. Uh, <laughs> as soon as it moves, it's a robot. And everybody can participate. Yeah, and it's also great for kids. They learn something. Uh, and as soon as you just need a bunch of spare parts. Uh, something that uh, works together with a battery a crazy lot of hot glue, and you can build a robot. As soon as it moves, it's great. And gaffer. Mm -hmm. Gaffer tape, uh, zip ties, zip ties and hot glue hold the world together, it's great. Um, yeah, and now we're basically it, and we're ready for the fight. So my laptop, at least, it didn't die totally. And now let's ask the other fighters to the stage. Okay, first participant, Raupelix. Okay, uh, are there uh, other people in the audience uh, owning these robots? Okay, one is moving slowly. I think we can have a fight before that one starts. This will be our judge, Hetty, uh, professional sportsman. <laughs> okay, the heavy class is approaching. Okay, so let's get started. Raupelix versus who? We have some great shitty robots here. We but have we great the, robots. Where, where are the owners? Where are the people? Where are the owners? We need you. I think the angels didn't let them in. The, uh, <laughs> something went wrong. Oh! Oh! Great. So first. That, that's the that's the great laser Dino robot. Laser Sour, or what, what's, what's the name? Laser, Laser Dino Robot. Laser Dino Robot versus Raupelix. We have, we have one minute of time. So ready for the fight? So, are you ready? Hattie, you're in the image. <laughs> okay, so three, sometimes the, two, the judge is one, interesting too. Go. are wobbling, but I don't know if something else will happen. And the intended direction is that way, so to the center of the table. 30 seconds pass, we have no enemy contact. Oh. It's approaching the Edge of the table. No. Seems bad for for laser oh. tiny robot. So so 
So this awesome shitty robot Roblox won, but he didn't do a lot. With what? I mean, that's the rules. But this also it great uh, laser dinner robot was also great, but... <laughs> Great, now my mobile phone died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is another owner of these robots here? So my assistant Robelix will take the next one. I think that moves. Oh, yeah. uh, this one is working, so. Yeah. This one is working against the, the big one. Ready? <laughs> well. <laughs> It's a toothbrush thingy. <laughs> that's a switch up. Uh, there's an on switch. I think you have to short out two cables. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. On to the battle battleground. Neo, get it on. Come on. It, We're go, not supposed go to, to have fun over here. <laughs> this one the Name? Okay. Name? Fight Name starts in three. So it's battling Terminus 1000 against something like Dragonfly. Speaky. So Speaky versus Terminus Terminus Peaky. So Peaky versus Terminus 1000. Ready. So are you ready? Three, two, two one, one, go. Fight. We shouldn't drop that one, otherwise we, ha uh, we have to tear down the hall afterwards. So, so <laughs> unbelievable, Peaky won! <laughs> Next contestants. Is my microphone still working? Yeah, I think so. You know, I, I, I tend to break everything when I'm coming near. That's why I'm working from home. Uh, how is this thing work? I don't think that works. That should work. It has no batteries. Okay, so next fight will be these two. Okay. So, <laughs> so the next fight is again Peaky against this, I don't know the name, bot. Peaky against, against what? Okay, we have a fight in three, two, one, go. <laughs> So, so Peaky won again. The, the, the bot even wins with empty battery. Okay. Can we get a better bot? We have something shitty over here. That one. <laughs> and we would have the laser dinosaur. Would the builder please come to the stage? Thank you. So laser dino robot is back on stage. Ready for a fight? Three, two, one, go.
So this cute laser dino robot won this fight. <laughs> So it's time for the last fight, the f dragonfly, or what was it, the toothbrushy thingy? Where is it? Here. <laughs> Against laser dinosaur. Peaky. Peaky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wir sollten letztes Mal hm? gegen 58 machen. Hm? Gegen 58 ungefähr. Oder ein bisschen zählen. Hm? Okay, last fight. To the table, and then we'll see what's the winner. Uh, against this one again? I, against this one. The two winners. Three, two, one, fight. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone get new batteries? I'm back. Oh. <laughs> so you can even win a fight with little efforts with no battery and just standing there. <laughs> so that's a motivation for you for next Hypercon. Make a bot like this and you can win. <laughs> it should move. So, ah. I think well, there is it. one little thing. Uh, la, uh, there are the Hebocon rules that the uh, other bot won because there was no, no, they didn't contact each other and uh, she made a bigger uh, way on the map. She moved more, so she should have won. She yes. has won, yeah. And she's on the stage. <laughs> Uh, maybe we'll show you some bots from the today fight but that uh, started to fight. Okay, so I think nah. Uh, I don't I don't know even how to operate this thing and this I saw it, it's really dangerous. <laughs> it, it's but you you can show the people how shitty it is. It's it's really dangerous the you bot. You know how so. to operate it? Don't! <laughs> Don't! Okay. Don't! There is the batteries. Don't! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Brace yourselves, the robots are coming. So that was the heaviest bot with 1.3 kilograms. And now it's out of order, it's, it broke down. Okay, I think that was it for today. If you have any questions or... <clears throat> Thank you. I, I actually, I have a question. What is your name? Jessica. <laughs> so, a warm applause for Jessica. Thank you. How, how do you feel? Very good. So first time on the stage at a kind of communication congress. <laughs> and then as a winner. Yeah. Yeah, uh, um, early on the day, I was like, not the winner. <laughs> so, but the little girl was, uh, yeah. I was just vibrating down the table all the time. <laughs> Great. So, thank you very much for introducing all these shitty robots to us. It was a lot of fun. And build more robots. And motivate people to build robots. And thank you very much. If you have any questions, do you have any questions? We have a little time left. Come to the, come to the microphone, please. The microphones are here in the middle of the, of the rows. Please come to the microphone if you have a question. Can. Can we have close-ups of the robots? We didn't really see them that well. Oh. Close-ups, please. May I present you Turtles? Robot porn. Okay,
Deathwatch machen. Hm? Zeig die Chance mir rund. I think the cameraman is doing a very, very good job. What it's was huge. the building cost of that one? Two euros? <laughs> <laughs> and the rest spare parts. How much did you need for building it? How, In how, euros? Long, did, how long did it, did it take you to build it? I don't measure. You don't measure? How many sleepless nights? I don't measure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thank you very much, and thank I hope we see you next time at Avocon with your own robots. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. It's a great idea, I think. It's really perfect for everybody. And it's so, you know, no matter what you build, it's fun. As long as it moves or at long as it at moves. the beginning, as but long as it moves. I think at the this beginning. one did not really um, fulfill this, um, you know. Hard to say, really hard <laughs> to say. Thank you very much. So.